So it turns out that people don't actually cool as fast as most people think in cold water. Now people die pretty rapidly in cold water. So what most people assume is if you've got somebody that goes into cold water and 20 minutes later they're dead, then clearly they died from hypothermia. But the truth is they probably didn't. They probably drowned. And the cold water may have had a lot to do with that, but they probably did not die a hypothermic death in 20 minutes. So let's talk about some of the factors that go into cooling and what happens to people when they go into cold water. The main reason people die when they go into cold water is because of swim failure. And we'll talk about that in a minute. When you listen to hypothermia lectures, uh, people often talk about a lot of esoteric things that can kill people in cold water that I don't think are as important as swim failure. Some of those things are some people will develop arrhythmias when they go into really cold water and essentially die from sudden death. Some people will develop laryngeal spasm. Some people will have a gasp response, which isn't a good thing when a wave is going over your head. Some people will overbreathe to the point, they'll hyperventilate to the point of cerebral vasoconstriction and blackout. Uh, but the truth is what kills most people in cold water is the fact that their muscles and nerves are cooling and they simply can no longer swim. The typical scenario that occurs that happens every year is that a group of scouts going out with a group leader or a group of high school swimmers will go out without life jackets and uh, a little squall will come up and they'll be blown out of their canoe into very cold water and uh, they're not wearing wetsuits, they don't have life jackets on, well they're good swimmers, no problem. Well, they swim for five minutes and then develop swim failure. They're simply unable to continue to swim and they end up drowning. So in cold water, you just have to wear a life jacket. And I don't care if you're a class six kayaker or if you're the captain of the swim team, when you're boating in cold water, you have to wear a life jacket. I remember I was guiding one year on the Middle Fork when I first started guiding rivers and we didn't wear wetsuits back then and the Middle Fork of the Salmon was in the mid 40s and I flipped a boat and I was just wearing my board shorts essentially. I think back then we called them something different. But uh, my passengers were all yelling and I was the guide and I remember after about five minutes I basically couldn't do much of anything. I couldn't really rescue anybody. I had a life jacket on but I was pretty much just getting flushed down the river, unable to really help my passengers. And it really taught me an important lesson, and that is nobody really swims much in 40 degree water after five minutes.